Hey there, viewers! 10 minutes of running every day will do this to your body. We all know that exercise is good for us, but the idea of devoting a large chunk of our already scarce time to hitting the gym or pounding the pavement is enough to make even the best of us whimper on some days. There is hope. Running 10 minutes per day has a dramatic positive impact on your health and well-being. In this video, we will be talking about the good thing running for 10 minutes daily does to your body. Keep on watching this video to learn more. Number 1. Your lower body muscles grow stronger Running every day results in strengthened lower body muscles. That's because running fires up these muscles to produce power mile after mile. It takes many muscles to make running possible. The calves, quads, and glutes ensure your hips and legs stay properly aligned while absorbing force and storing elastic energy, which translates to greater kinetic energy and force production. The muscles that make up the calves, the gastrocnemius and soleus, are responsible for lifting the heel and pushing you forward. But other muscles you may not have given much thought to before, like the anterior and posterior tibialis in your lower leg, which help to control and decelerate foot strike, are also challenged and strengthened by a regular 10-minute running routine. Before we move on, a like would be awesome. Number 2. Your core and back become more stable The muscles of your core also play an important role in running. They not only transfer force to and from the lower and upper extremities, but they also contribute to pelvic and trunk rotation. That rotation is necessary for moving from one place to the next effectively and efficiently. Your back, your lats, long-acting thyroid stimulator, more specifically, also work to produce power in your strides. These large, fan-shaped muscles are the only upper body muscles that attach to both the spine and the pelvis. The lats work in concert with the opposite glute to absorb and produce force during the gait cycle. This is because the arms and legs move in dynamic opposition to each other during running. Also, the faster you run, the more important this relationship between arm swing and movement becomes. To help improve your lat strength, run for at least 10 minutes daily. Number 3. Your bone density and joint health improves Running is a weight-bearing activity that helps improve bone density and strength. And contrary to popular belief, one of the health benefits of jogging is that it can be beneficial for people with rheumatoid arthritis, says the Arthritis Foundation. Going out for a 10-minute run per day prevents or delays osteoarthritis and osteoporosis as it strengthens your bones and the muscles around your joints. However, people who currently have arthritis must consult their doctors before taking up any physical activity and avoid exerting joints that are swollen or painful. Number 4. Your breathing gets more efficient Running for 10 minutes every day will help you learn how to use your breath more efficiently. It all stems from your diaphragm, the main muscle that controls breathing, which sits between the chest and abs and is a large stabilizer of the core. But if diaphragmatic breathing is altered or reduced, the secondary respiratory muscles like the scalenes, breathing muscles in the neck, sternocleidomastoid neck muscle, pec minor chest muscle, levator scapulae upper back muscle, and upper trapezius upper back muscle, may be relied on more heavily, leading to shallower, more chest-oriented breathing. Take time to do warm-ups such as jumping jacks, sit-ups that also strengthen the diaphragm and abs to increase your oxygen levels while running. Number 5. Your balance will improve Running is a single leg sport. You leap and land on one leg at a time and that takes balance. When you're running, you're using your core, back and leg muscles to stay upright. And as mentioned earlier, your lower leg muscles control foot strike, essential for maintaining balance. So it makes sense that unilateral or one-sided exercises can help you bolster your balance even further and make you a more powerful runner. Add unilateral movements such as single leg deadlifts, split squats, and single leg glute bridges to your routine on your days off from running. Number 6. Your heart gets stronger Running is one of the most popular cardio workouts for a reason. It improves the strength and efficiency of the cardiovascular system, and running high-intensity intervals can improve maximum oxygen uptake (VO2 max) as much as functional HIIT exercises such as burpees. And while you might think you need to go hard at all times to really reap this reward, it's simply not true. Just 5 to 10 minutes of running per day can improve overall health and longevity. When you're ready to run longer, experts recommend extending by only 10% every week. So if you normally run for 10 minutes 3 days a week, you can extend your run to 15 minutes on one of those days. Number 7. You might lose weight 
Professionals don't recommend people who are overweight, a BMI of 25 to 30, or obesity, BMI of 30 or higher, to start running for weight loss, because the impact is more pronounced and can increase the risk of injuries to the joints. But if you've gotten the all clear from a healthcare professional, the number of calories you burn will vary depending on factors like the intensity of your workout and your age and size. For example, according to Harvard Health Publishing, a 155-pound person running 12 minutes per mile burns 298 calories in 30 minutes. While you'll need to make adjustments to your diet as well, burning calories with exercise like running, which works multiple muscle groups at once, resulting in that high-calorie burn, can certainly help you along a weight loss journey. On the other hand, over time, some beginners notice they gain weight from starting a new running routine. This may be due to muscle growth that offsets lost body fat. Running is only harmful on the muscles and joints if you do it too much. It's best to only run 10 to 30 minutes daily. How to run with good form. Run tall. Think of having a string at the top of your head gently pulling you up. Relax your shoulders, hands, and jaw. Keep your core engaged and firm, not overly tense, but enough to keep you from flailing around. Don't let your hands cross your midline. Too much twisting of your upper body can cause your feet to cross your midline, which wastes energy and can cause pain or injury. Aim to land your foot gently beneath your center of gravity. Landing too far in front can lead to both increased risk of injury and decreased speed. Number 8. Makes you sleep better. A night spent tossing and turning can spoil even the best day. Being tired and grumpy is a surefire way to make a person unpleasant to be around even when they're on vacation. Fortunately, it turns out that regular running can do more to improve sleep than even the strongest sleeping pill and with no side effects. Daily 10-minute morning runs can lead to significantly better sleep. Number 9. Makes your mood better Not only is running great for your body, it is also great for your outlook on life. We've all heard of the alleged runner's high that people feel when they come home from a great jog, and science has actually found support for the idea. Running has been shown to improve mood immediately afterwards. Imagine if you could spend 10 minutes each morning increasing the chances that you would be in a great mood all day. Number 10. Your knees will improve Some people feel wary about getting started running because of the belief that it'll wreck their knees. Running doesn't increase the risk of arthritis, at least for people who run at a recreational level. Recreational runners are actually less likely to develop knee arthritis than sedentary people or professional or elite runners are. Running for 10 minutes daily can reduce inflammation in the joint. If you feel a sudden knee pain during or after running, there is a simple fix for that. Strengthen your legs and hips, change shoes every 500 miles or so, and switch up the surfaces you run on like spending some time on softer trails or grass in addition to hard concrete. Do you like running? Share us your thoughts in the comments section. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out. Both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.